so much swimming in my head. But thinking it all boils down to authenticity. Um, two things in particular. Um, Turkle's comments about conversation. And Chris's comment about do kids spend more time figuring out adults or figuring out the world? And I mean, Turkle talks about aloneness, being alone. And for me, the technology that she speaks against has helped me to be alone more in the alone sense of authenticity to listen more deeply to others and to myself in order to figure out what matters to me in order to have that conversation, in order to listen better. So anyway, those two things just completely stuck out to me because they feed off of each other. The sustainability, the disruptive sustainability goes right back to the core of are you having a legitimate conversation with yourself and with others? And we teach that out of each other because we In a sense, it's because we crave betterness. We think efficiency is betterness. Um, part of it's ego. But it's buried in a love, maybe a different love, but a love of wanting better for other people. And we think we have it. So forcing it on others. we know what's best and assuming they don't so um, to me the technology has helped and been, and been a means to cut through what public education and other things have done over the course of several hundred years driven us away from us into efficiency. So how can we cut through that? Face to face is best, no doubt. But our face to face is steeped in non-realness. And virtual can be so surreal because the superficial outwardness of face-to-face, -face, things we see only with our eyes, can get in the way of surreal. So, conversation with self, conversation with others, how do we make sure they're authentic? and focused on what matters. I think it's a huge and swimming back and forth. And the grounding, the orderliness, the 
commonality would be a daily self-reflection. 24-7 one, eventually, but to start with a daily self-reflection, am I doing what matters? What does matter? What am I curious about? How was my yesterday? How can I change my today? And then a conversation with others that you have no agenda, but to know the person. Being known by someone called to exist. Talking to yourself daily. 